All right, hey, what's up, sons? It is Blind Run. Excuse my mess here. I worked late and then I drank a little, drank a little vodka and uh, just woke up today. I was doing my testing, my uh, testing for the 1080 Ti versus the uh, Titan X Pascal. So the first Titan XP, whatever the fuck. Uh, anyways. So I ran into something super curious. If you guys haven't noticed uh, for Ryzen, there was the turn the high precision, high precision event timer on, and then you would get better performance. At least you would get better performance in CPU benchmarks, such as like GPU IP or GP, sorry, GPU IP or GPU PI. There we go. Or Cinebench and so on and so forth. I am going to have to retest that for gaming specifically, actually specifically in Rise of the Tomb Raider here. So I did the benchmarks on the uh, 1080 Ti first because I had the Titan XP in my main rig, of course. And when I did that, I ran it just on a fresh clean install of Windows. Well, on that fresh clean install, the high precision event timer is turned off by default. Well, I got to the CUDA tests for the GPU I, or GPU PI, and that requires that you turn the high precision event timer on to run that test. So I turned it on. Well, after I turned it on, of course, I got done with everything and I pulled the Titan out of the rig here or the 1080 Ti and I put the Titan in. Once I put the Titan in, I went ahead and ran the benchmark for Rise of the Tomb Raider. This is, this is now. So this is currently with the high precision event timer off. So when I had it on, I ran the benchmark for the Titan X Pascal and the max number was like, half of that like it was 128 fps and i was having mins drop all the way down this min right here actually drop all the way down to like 13 fps so i reinstalled the drivers of course and then i went ahead and tried to uh run it again and i got the same thing happen so at this point i was just like what what the hell's going on i can't figure it out and i went ahead and take a look at like a couple different like benchmarks uh deus ex that was a little bit lower but nothing like way off like this was and so i went ahead and put the 1080 ti back in of course because at this point i'm like well i got to retest the 1080 ti otherwise i can't really go out and say well you know the <laughs> the titan x pascal is is literally half as good as the fucking 1080 Ti. That's not even close to true, like pretty positive, right? So I put the 1080 Ti in and I ran the test and it was at 128 FPS. And I go, well, what the fuck? So finally I turned the HPE T off, the high precision event timer off. And as soon as I turned that off, we got the score back up close to 300 FPS for that max. And then we bumped our min up from like 13 to uh, 40. And yeah, that's incredible. So if you guys are having like low FPS issues in Rise of the Tomb Raider, you might want to consider turning a high precision event timer off. I'll leave the command that you can run in a in an elevated command prompt in the description below that's going to be my quick vlog here and what i discovered so i hope it helps some of you all out and uh yeah let me know i'm gonna probably take a deeper look into it later on i want to check and see if that happens with the Ryzen 1800X system, because this is a, an i7-7700K to clarify. And then I also want to check if it happens with an RX 480 on the i7-7700K system. And then I think I want to check it out and see if it happens with uh, the RX 480 with the 1800X system. Now, I just want to check all of those and see, and specifically for Tomb Raider, and the high precision event timer. If you guys are interested in a more detailed video instead of this kind of short vlog about it, and that sounds like a cool idea, let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, I'll see you next Tuesday.